How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Fatorque Ultra Portable Projector. Look at this tiny size. You can pretty much just carry it anywhere. Usually though, with a tiny projector, it's got a tiny battery and it's also not as bright. So this is a bit better for personal use and if you don't make the projector screen too big. Quick start guide, user manual. 12 volt, 24 watt AC adapter, the little tripod, HDMI cable, and a remote controller. Screw the tripod onto the bottom. This will allow for easier positioning of your projector up or down. Otherwise, without it, most of the time you might wedge a book underneath instead. The output projector lens here. On the right side, there's a power button and audio out. On the back, there's a USB in. You can connect an iPhone to it. Infrared input for your remote control. Battery's not included, needs two AAAs. There's a DC input, HDMI in. And on the other side, there is a focus knob. The controls on the top, it's up, down, left, right, confirm, menu, and back. The device device has a speaker. I can actually feel the heat from the projection. Adjusting the focusing knob, there we go. If you're projecting a tiny little screen, it's pretty usable, pretty bright. These projectors usually say, oh, you can project up to 114 inches, but it's going to be incredibly dim at that point. It doesn't really say how long it'll last on battery power, so I'm going to charge it up fully and then measure how long it'll last. The native resolution is 480p, which means you're going to get roughly DVD quality out of this thing. Probably not good to do any kind of word processing or office work on this projector. It's more for entertainment purposes, watch movies, Netflix, or whatnot. It'll accept all kinds of different resolutions up to HD, not 4K, and output it in 480p. Let me plug it in to charge it, and it's drawing 18 watts. Let's see what happens if I turn it on. Yep, if you don't wanna use the battery, you can just plug it in. I've adjusted the lighting in the camera to look like what it looks like in real life. There's some natural light coming in from outside. And to me, at this size, it's super usable. Distance from the front of the projector to the wall is 24 inches and it projects about 23 inches, 100 inches away. This is around 101 inches. Whenever you see reviews on projectors, they usually dim the lights a lot and you can do a lot in the camera settings to make it look like it's very bright. So instead of doing that, I have a brightness meter over here and I have this one meter squared circle and I projected it so that it roughly covers the entire area. You see this extra portion here could potentially fill up that area that's not lit up. Right outside here, I'm reading 74 lux. So if I push relative, it zeroes it out and I'm gonna put this in the center where all the bright light is. It reads about 77 lux. And if it's on the red area, it's 34. Maybe at the edge, it's also 71. I'd say about 75 lux. The reason I put it on this one meter squared thing is because I can convert this lux directly to lumens. So what you're getting here is 75 lumens of brightness. Not that much, but you can't expect much from a tiny little projector like this. Either use it in a very dim room or you project it into a very small area for personal use. I have a PC engine with R-Type 1 here. Let's try to play this. When I turn it on, does it work? <laughs> so the audio is coming out of there. This is pretty neat. Okay, I can't see the border of the screen. Let me turn off the light so maybe I can see it even better. Sunlight is coming in and I have no projector screen. You can also project via the USB, connecting my phone, navigate to screencast on the lower left, say okay. iOS cable cast, okay. Can we trust this computer? Trust. Now it's in vertical mode, but let me play a video. How's it going if I did this beat the bush? Introduce you. Look at that. The projection seems to end over here. You can see that little icon over there. And the ratio of this video, it's really, really wide. You can either do it landscape mode or vertical mode. There are other ways to connect to this projector, including iOS cast wirelessly, Miracast, Windows cast, DLNA, and you have the cast settings there. In order to use the mirroring, you have to set up the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi settings, okay. And then we go to iOS cast, select screen mirroring. Again, we can play something. How's it going if I did this beat the bush? There's some lag to this. It's not instantaneous to the point where I don't think it's that usable in terms of casting to this projector. Let me do a online update. Maybe that will help. It's the latest version already. I have charged it fully to the point where it's not drawing any more power. Note that the brightness is on highlight mode, which is its brightest mode. We can also adjust 
adjust the ketone or just let it do auto or the picture mode where you can adjust the contrast, brightness, color. You can also put in a hard drive or a flash drive in there that contains videos, pictures, audio, or even text. The list of compatible videos is quite long. MPEG 1, 2, 4, WMV, JPEG, PNG, MP3, AAC, WMA files. Surprisingly being this small, I thought it will only last about an hour. But during my test, it actually lasted two hours and 40 minutes. That's enough for a full length movie. Even if you wear this out for a while, the capacity would reduce a little bit and it should still last an entire movie. Now, when it's on, how loud is it? If you're about a foot away from this, I'm getting about 40 dB audio. If I turn it off, it goes down to 33 dB. Overall, I think the fan noise is pretty minimal. So you're likely going to be able to drown it out pretty easily with any kind of audio on a movie. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.